Realistic from Sky. I know this is very Japalaka. That is the plan. Benefit lunch. Um, we are going to Osteria BBR located in Raffles Hotel and today the weather is just raining so it's kind of sad. We have a shoot later on that involves Micah so the whole day I have been just very stressed out about it thinking about how I'm gonna keep him happy make sure he's getting his naps so and, and that the shoot doesn't take too long so yeah, I have to do a lot of like explanation and apologizing because it's a client shoot. So yeah, my mind is on that the whole day. So this is the new launch. Goof proof brow powder, waterproof, butch proof. But he did pretty well. <laughs> he was all smiley and very engaging with everybody. But towards the end, he started being a little bit cranky. So I got Sophia to walk him around the mall, uh, hope, hope, hoping that he would sleep, but he didn't. So I guess that's the thing about having a pretty strict routine with him because he is so used to the routine that we, that we set for him that when we cannot exactly replicate the environment, the you know, the lighting, the sound, the comfort, then he won't be able to sleep. So that was what happened to us in Bali. Um, we have we had a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble making him sleep, making him eat because he was just so not used to being able to sleep outside. So yeah, that's something to consider if you guys are, you know, doing sleep training that is kind of like environmental based. <laughs> yeah. So I'm here in my hair because my postpartum hair loss is very scary. You can see I'm pretty much bald. Yeah, so it's been falling since one and a half months ago and it still is falling. I'm giving myself some time to see results. Uh, but <clears throat> the previous time I came to Inam Hair Care was because I was facing hair loss issues as well. Uh, I'm gonna link a vlog, like a very old vlog that you guys can see here because I shared a lot about my hair loss problems. But at the time it was due to stress and this time it's postpartum. So yeah, that treatment began. trying the new um, menu for night time, like dinner time. So far, what I've been having, Shimaji, Botanebi, Hokkaido Scallop, we're at the third course. Um, Shimaji is really, really good. But it's a picture over here. Right now, this is Hokkaido Scallop. So I am honestly not a very big fan of scallops with peas. I don't know why <laughs> chefs like to do that. But let's see. Honestly, we have tried Sky quite a number of times. Um, the dinners are always quite meh, decent, but nothing to shout about. But with this new chef, I would say it's very worth coming. And um, you guys should before the prices go up because I think it's still pretty affordable and very value for money for the quality, the, the portions and everything meat for lunch today. I was so excited because I got some leftover steak from Sky SV. Just pan fried it. Um, some greens, some 
edamame that I cooked with XO sauce, seaweed, a, an egg with a runny yolk, and rice. Okay, bon appetit. Thank you, Jesus, for the food. Okay, I'm gonna do the edamame first. Mmm. Anything nice is nice with the XO sauce. This is the um, wagyu from yesterday. Mmm. Let's heat it up some store bought pasta sauce. I know this is very japalang, but that's what happens when you just try to make lunch for yourself. It's for you just learn and feel like whatever's missing, you just add. Hey, since today is work from home day, I am gonna spend some time with my girl. I realized I stopped halfway when I was talking to you guys about baby let we need because Michael was just like making a fuss um, but basically I think we are going to start him on solids this weekend he would be short of 6 months by one day hopefully that's fine, I don't know because he is quite ready, I feel like he's quite ready to start eating he's been very interested in our food, been trying to grab it whenever I put it on my lap and when I want to eat as you can see from this scone video and this burger video like i think he's very ready um but i do plan to do a mixed traditional and baby like weaning approach i'm not sure if i will stay committed or what works better for him so uh yeah that is the plan and i'm excited ready for avocado That went super well. We are so proud of him. Um, honestly, he's still not. He's still more used to like the spoon. I think because he really likes the texture. And I'm not sure if I chose avocados that were too ripe, uh, so he didn't really have a good grip. But just to test if he has any reaction, we are monitoring him and making sure that we are gonna be feeding him for two more meals. So tonight he's gonna have avocado as well, and then another time, which. Um, I'm gonna try and make sure that I'm home if I want to do the strips so that you know um, I can be there if anything goes south, hopefully not. Uh, I 
because I really need it. <laughs> my hair has been so flat, it's been falling out a lot. Uh, get a new color. Barely trimmed my hair, only the fringe. 